Also for us here tonight, for the first time since 2017, the Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority, or BMHA, has started accepting applications for the Housing Choice Voucher Program, also known as Section 8. The federally funded program helps struggling families who have been living in Buffalo for at least six months apply for rental assistance. Because it's been so long since applications have been open, we thought we'd get a refresher today from BMHA's executive director. We asked Jillian Brown what our viewers should know. At the conclusion of this week, we will go through everyone who applied through the portal and then through a randomized computer lottery. So there won't be any human involvement in the selection of names at all. Through a randomized lottery, we will pick 4,000 names and those people will be entered on our housing choice voucher or Section 8 wait list. Um, at that point, they will be reached out to by the Section 8 administrator as uh, as vouchers become available. The Buffalo Municipal Housing Authority only has about 1400 vouchers, but Brown wanted people to know that there are actually two other Section 8 providers in our region as well. They are the Rental Assistance Corporation of Buffalo and Belmont Housing Resources of Western New York. So while it will take some time, he encouraged families to apply to all three of those, not just BMHA, because the wait to get one of these vouchers can take months or even years. It opens up a lot more choice for residents, obviously. Um, people can choose where they want to live. They can choose what schools they want their children to go to, what neighborhood they want to live in, that sort of thing. Uh, the whole process this year is fully, fully online. Um, it only takes five minutes. It's a very short process and you can only apply uh, through the new our new BMHA portal. So there is a computer portal which is accessible at BMHA's website, which is www.bmhahousing.com. And he added this part is important. You must know your household income when you fill out these forms and for data collection purposes, the application will also ask for the race and ethnicity of each person living in your home.